Published, 17.30 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 28th of July, 2018. Updated, 17.30 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 28th of July, 2018. The 2017-18 Football League season begins on Friday when Reading hosts Derby at the Modeski Stadium in the championship. The upcoming campaign promises to be fascinating, with some intriguing storylines developing in the championship, League 1 and League 2 next season. Here, Sportsmail have identified five things to watch out for in the second tier, as well as three each from League 1 and League 2. Frank Lampard has a tough job trying to take Derby back to the Premier League this season. Frank Lampard after Gary Neville and Steven Gerrard, another of England's golden generation, to move into management. Lampard has a tough job trying to take Derby back to the Premier League but has used his contacts book well to land Chelsea's very talented teenager Mason Mount on loan. Steve McLaren, former England manager is back in football as a surprise appointment at QPR. He will have to rely on his coaching ability rather than the transfer market because the club were fined more than £41 million last week for breaking league FFP rules and will be barred from signing anyone in the January window. Benekafobi signed for Wolves from Bournemouth before joining Stoke just 10 days later. Benekafobi it was a strange transfer window for the 25-year-old striker, who signed for Wolves from Bournemouth on June 2nd and then joined Stoke on loan 10 days later. The loan will become a £12 million permanent transfer in January and relegated Stoke are relying on a phobie for the goals to take them straight back up. Joao Carvalho Nottingham Forest's £13 million Portuguese midfielder is aiming to become this season's Ruben Neves, who helped Wolves win promotion to the Premier League last season. Carvalho, 21, has played in the Champions League for Benfica Nisquita Forest's ambitious plans under Ider Caranca. Nassif saw Iris an Egyptian billionaire whose buyout at Aston Villa with American Wes Edens has saved the famous club from financial ruin. Cyrus has kept Steve Bruce on as manager and his riches mean they won't be forced to sell Tottenham target Jack Grealish or defender James Chester on the cheap. Aston Villa Chiefs Nassif saw Iris, right, and Wes Edens, left, saved the club from financial ruin Joey Barton the arrival of the next great young manager? Or a gimmick? Fleetwood Town caused a stir when they made Barton manager. The controversial midfielder, formerly of Manchester City, Newcastle, Strangeways and a few other places, is just back from a betting ban. It's short odds that he'll be in the headlines in his new role. Sunderland just 15 months after trotting out at Stamford Bridge in Anfield, the Black Cats are bracing themselves for trips to Spalin and Roots Hall. Their new owner Stuart Donald and new manager Jack Ross hope to stop the free fall and that the Stadium of Light will be rocking again after back-to-back -back relegations. New Sunderland manager Jack Ross, right, with Alan Stubbs, will be hoping to halt the free fall. Daniel Stendhal had worked for Liverpool and Huddersfield and now Barnsley are taking a punt on a German manager. Only time will tell whether Sendel is an exponent of the Gegenpress or the Kampfgeist, but in a town where they call a spade a bloody shovel, the Tex will expect promotion. MK Dons the how they must have laughed in Wimbledon when those other Dons were relegated. Colorful owner Pete Winkleman has vowed to bankroll a swift return to League One and hopes manager Paul Tisdale is the man to deliver. Colorful MK Don's owner Pete Winkleman has vowed to bankroll a swift return to league own Frankie Bunna blast from the past but you cannot quite remember why. Frankie Bunn, the newly appointed manager of Oldham Athletic, holds the record for most goals scored in a League Cup game, banging in six against Scarborough in 1989. 29 years later and they've finally decided he's worth a crack in the dugout. The big match pencil it in the diary, October 2nd, Tranmere v Lincoln. Expect the earth to move when Steve McNulty, Bob Tranmere, goes up for a header with Lincoln's Matt Reed. These two might answer to the nickname, Sumo.